Good morning, welcome to weekly vlog number 24 and is anyone else finding it extremely satisfying, probably not, that it's weekly vlog 24 and it's the week before Christmas? I'm finding that quite satisfying. Just about to leave for work, gone for a red lip today, I've decided every day this week I'm going to wear a red lip because it's the week before Christmas so I'm embracing the Christmasness and wearing a red lip. Today I've got on, let me find it. You've all seen this before, it's one of my favourite ones. It's the Lord and Berry one, the little pencil type thing. It looks very bright in the camera. I feel like it's not that bright in real life. Maybe it is. I don't know. I really like it though, it's one of my favourites. I need to pop out on my lunch because I need to get a few more little Christmassy pieces and then I'm done, completely done. There's just, I need to pick up a few like little things, like stockingy things. So that's what I'm going to do on my lunch today. That's all I've got to tell you right now. So I will probably speak to you later. <laughs> Good morning, same red lip as yesterday if you are wondering. And we are doing a bake sale today. Basically the company I work for are working with Make-A-Wish this Christmas and we have all been set a task to raise like a set amount of money. So we've decided to do a bake sale because we all quite like baking. I've got a delicate drive <laughs> today and I'm picking up Rachel. I just sent her a picture. I was like, I hope you don't mind uh, babysitting cakes in the car. But I asked Daniel to pick them up from mine yesterday because I was working on the late and then coming to here. So I was like, I can't bother to go home to then come back here. Do you know what I mean? Long. And he texted me and he was like, I'm sat in your driveway because I'm too scared to bring the cakes back because two of them or three of them have like fallen into each other. So he was really worried, bless his heart, because I'm a bit paranoid about my cakes. But they're all fine, like some of them, the edges just slightly mushed, but it's, there's not loads and loads of icing on them, it's just kind of in the middle. So I'll show you them later so you can see the design, or you can go and look on my Instagram, because I actually Instagrammed a picture of them last week, well, one of them. But they're in really cute little Christmas cases, and they're chocolate muffins with chocolate cream swirled on top with festive, like, bauble sprinkly type things. So yeah, hopefully we'll raise some money today. Um, Hannah has made mince pies, her mince pies are amazing. So I'm hoping there's gonna be some left over so that I can eat them. <laughs> her mince pies are the only ones I'll eat. I'm not a massive fan of like shop-bought mince pies, but Hannah's mince pies are very good. So these are my cupcakes, and then we've made little flags for them. And Hannah has made mince pies. These are probably my favorite mince pies ever. Then we have spares. Minus my fingers. I've got like four left. But I'm kind of hoping that people don't want them all so that we can eat them. Oh, cute, you can stack yeah, them. Yeah, I just thought we could. They're probably gonna stick together though, so people will have to. They'll have to donate they extra can money. Donate <laughs> that works. Oh, this just looks like Christmas to me. I love this. Uh. Yay! How many can you fit on? Ta-da! Yay! Let's go! So it's 10 to 4 and I'm literally just going on my lunch now. Safe to say I'm pretty hungry. The cupcakes went down really well. I think we raised, so far we've raised like £38 I think. Which is not a lot but it's so much better than nothing. And we've still got some left. So I don't know if we're going to eat those and donate or if we're going to go around again. I'll see if anyone else wants any. Don't know. But right now... I really need to go and eat something because my stomach is talking to me. My time is in! Killing it down! Meow! I don't know what the last day was that we did. I can't remember. Well, it's the 20th today, so maybe we work backwards. Okay, that's a good shout. Where's 20? There's 20. Okay. Oh no. I got the snowman again. I'm losing a door. Oh, you ripped off. I think I caught a little bit of water. Oh. The little cat. <laughs> Hello? Yeah. <sighs> I'm not getting it. Huh? A uh, bell. A bell. Oh. Nineteen. Nineteen. I've got a present. Got Holly. Yeah. We're really bad at this this year. I've been so good though. You haven't. Like not not eating them like I'm days at a time. 
dog with sock ears. Christmas tree! Yeah. What was that? Christmas tree! No, I meant the number. Oh. <laughs> 18. What is A snow globe! Oh. Teddy bear. Sniff. Distracted. Oh. What was that? 17. 16. 16. Very nice, Emma. Yeah. Oh, we've got. Stop face! <laughs> she always looks moody. I know. Oh, candy cane. Candy cane. That's that is from a film. What film? I feel like it's from a scary film. Scary film. Mm. About people that are on a road trip and they hack like the lorry driver's radios and um, they like all talk to each other over this radio but they lead on they lead along this guy over the radio pretending to be like a woman and their I think their name was Candy Cane, like the name well, like coat, on the radio yeah, was Candy Cane. But all you can all I hear is the man with on the other lorry who Hello, candy cane. Is that your candy cane? <laughs> Sounds very intelligent. <laughs> <laughs> that you, candy cane. Candy cane. Candy cane. Is that you, candy cane? No, you're just a kitty cat. Kitty cat and candy cane and an elf. An elf. An elf. 21. 22. Wait, 21, 22, 23. 23. <gasps> That's a big one! Oh, 23, one. 24, and 25 are all big ones. Oh, my 25 is a big one. <gasps> Don't you open it, darling. Didn't, I didn't. Oh, the hamster was at the vet's again today. Yeah, it was. She um has got the sniffles, so she's got antibiotics again, but the vet thinks she's allergic to her bedding, so now I have to go buy a new bedding. Oh, really? Yes. Good morning everybody, please ignore the bags under my eyes. I'm about to go pick Daniel up and we are going to his sister's again to go see the babies and them and I think we're going out for lunch which will be really nice because we haven't been out for lunch as a, like a group for a little while so that's going to be nice. I'm really enjoying having like blow dried hair at the moment. This always happens after I have a haircut. I'm always like oh I'm just going to, I'm going to keep it straight for a bit, I'm going to blow dry it. And then it gets like a month after and I'm like, oh, I shouldn't have done that because now it needs cutting again. <laughs> and I go back to doing my no heat French braids. But at the minute, I'm really enjoying this. Really enjoying it. Um, no red lip today, I'm afraid, because I'm going out for lunch and I can't bother with the faff of it, to be honest, while I'm out for lunch. So, yes, but I need to go now. It's very wet outside, it's not nice. I was trying to decide whether it was warm enough for me to wear my denim jacket or whether I should put a coat on. Probably gonna put a coat on, just in case it rains. Good afternoon. It's now Thursday. I didn't vlog anything else yesterday because obviously we went to Dan's family's house, so I don't ever really vlog there, only when you wanna see the little baby. Um, so yeah, I didn't vlog anything else, but we just went out for lunch, which was really good, and then went and did a little bit of shopping, and I'll show you, I picked up two things, which I'll show you in a minute. So now it's Thursday, I am going for lunch with my best friend today, I'm so excited. We really don't ever get to see each other at all, like, in fact, I think I've probably seen her like three or four times this year, which makes me very sad, but hopefully next year we'll be able to see each other a little bit more. We're going out for lunch, not sure where we're going yet, we're going to try and go to one place, but we don't know how much it is. And we don't want to like spend too much money because neither of us really have the money to spend. So yeah, we're going to go to this to a first place to see how much it is. I think it's quite expensive, but I can't remember because I haven't been there for a really long time. Otherwise, we'll go somewhere else. But anyway, so I'm seeing her today, so I'm really excited. I've just done my makeup. I've gone for something a bit different. You can't really tell in the camera, but I've gone for a grey eyeshadow, which I've like never gone for before i've gone quite subtle because i don't really do it very like ever i was like i don't want to go too gray and it looked really weird and i've currently got cosmo on but i don't know if i'm gonna put ruby woo on i'm thinking i might wear ruby woo because it's a matte so it stays on when you eat so it's not like i really have to worry about that and I can take it with me anyway. So I might wear Ruby Woo. And I've already planned my outfit. I just need to get dressed. I've done my face. I haven't done my hair. I haven't got dressed or anything yet. So I need to do that. I'm rambling today. Um, I've been watching Arthur Christmas while I've been getting ready. Because I haven't been feeling very Christmassy. This always happens. I feel really Christmassy at the beginning of December when everything happens. So like when all the decorations go up. And all the Christmas music starts. And 
yeah, you start buying all of your Christmas presents. And then by this time, I'm so exhausted from work that I just don't feel Christmassy. So I'm trying really hard to get back into the Christmas spirit. Seems as it's now the 22nd, it's Christmas in like three days. So I need to get Christmassy again. And while I'm out with Bethany, I need to find something Christmassy to wear on Saturday because we are allowed to wear Christmassy things to work on Saturday. And I literally have nothing. I have like some cheesy jumpers, but nothing to wear with them. So I'm thinking I might just try and find like a nice Christmassy top and wear it with like my normal work skirt. So we have to keep it kind of smart. Teeth are brushed, hair is done, and I am now dressed. I have added a little bit more eyeshadow. So it's slightly darker now. And this is one of the things that I got yesterday. It's from Dorothy Perkins. And I haven't got a new scarf in literally probably about three years. I've had this tartan one that you've seen many, many times. I've had that scarf for a good three years. So I saw this one yesterday and I was like, I love it. It will go with everything. It's grey and it's cream and it's got multicoloured speckles in it. And it's literally just going to go with everything. It's so thick, it's so soft, and it's perfect. So I got this <laughs> yesterday, so I'm wearing it today. Today's outfit is my denim skirt. Focus! Denim skirt with my super dry roll neck and my scarf. And I'm probably going to... I don't know what jacket I'm going to wear yet, actually. Um, my tights are actually woolly tights. You can see. And I'm just going to wear my black ankle boots because... They are fail safe. I'm so snug in this scarf. I don't think I need a jacket. Um, and yeah, I still haven't decided on my lipstick. I don't know if I'm just going to leave it nude, to be honest, because the eyes are quite dark for me, I feel. And I don't want to get it on my lip, on my um, scarf. <laughs> so I might keep it nude. Also, my whole other, my outfit's quite like cash, so I might keep it a nude and stick with like maybe go faux or something. Oh, I could go Charlotte Tilbury, Secret Sienna. Is this too summery? Possibly. Let's put it on. Is that too summery? I don't know why I always ask you guys, because it's like you can't answer me now, so... Hmm, I quite like that. It goes nice with the scarf, do you think? Do you think? Yeah, yeah, I think so. This is the other thing that I got yesterday from Dorothy Perkins. It's just like um, a long classic, like basic top that's like cottony and it was only £12 in sale and it's high neck and because I've got such a short neck, this actually looks kind of like a small roll neck on me. <laughs> but I really, really like it and it's really warm and for £12, couldn't really, couldn't really go wrong. So yeah, also I'm going for no coat just this ridiculously thick scarf and I've got layers on so I think I'll be okay I mean we're going to be walking around <coughs> hair in my mouth in and out of shops anyway so I don't think it's going to be a problem but yes I need to go because it is actually like one o'clock now so I need to go and get her and then go get some lunch guys I just got in the car and caught my tights on my boots so now I have to change my tights. Oh, that's so annoying. Oh well. Got a spot on the end of my nose. That's annoying. I'm literally failing. Oh, bye. At vlogging this week. Like, so bad. I just keep forgetting to get my camera out of things. I don't know why, because I'm, I'm definitely in the habit of it now, but... Yeah. She's purring. Cuddle, cuddle. Cuddle, cuddle, cuddle. <laughs> such a snuggle push. I'm trying to decide whether or not to have a bath right now. I kind of want to have a bubble bath, but then I also kind of just want to get into bed. 
even though it's only 8 p.m. What are you doing? What's wrong? I forgot to say, I had a really good day. Oh, sorry, did I touch you? So, with Bethany, we went to a little cafe called the Armory. It's like the Ely Cathedral, Ely Cathedral, um, cafe. Hello. <laughs> um, and it was really good. I had a cheese scone, or scone, whatever you say. And it's really good with tea and yeah we just had a really nice day just walking around the shops had lunch had a good catch up Bethany had her eyebrows done as well she had an appointment booked so I just drove her just had a really nice day like nice and chilled although there was lots of people so it was quite stressful for that but apart from that it was a lovely day and I love seeing her but I don't see her very often but hopefully next year we'll see a bit more of each other which will be nice so, am I annoying you by talking? Oh, oh. Where are you going? That's it. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kind of talking to you for the sake of it now, I think. I don't really know what else to tell you. Agreed. I look such a mess. <laughs> I'm being really organised this week and I've already started editing the vlog. I'm already up to date on the vlog. Do you like my flowers? My mum had got them for me because I'm very just so that no one ever buys me flowers. So she got me some. I'll show you those in a minute. I started editing the vlog because obviously I don't want to be up really late on Christmas Eve. I just want to go to bed so Santa can come. But also Kat commented on last week's vlog saying why don't I do that anyway when I was saying like I don't really have a Saturday blah 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 blah. The reason I don't is because... If I suddenly decide to do like a main video midweek for the Sunday coming, I know it doesn't happen very often, but sometimes I just have the urge to film a video. I can't then edit the new video if the vlog is half edited. Basically on iMovie, I can't work out how to have two videos in the process of being edited. She like my little red nose. I'm like Rudolph. I picked the spot too, which makes it even worse. Yeah, so I can't do that. Otherwise, I would do that all the time. But I'm a sort of person who will like spontaneously get an idea of a main video and then want to film that. And if I'm halfway through editing the vlog, I can't then upload that and edit that ready for the Sunday. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Also, I've noticed that I ramble a lot in this vlog, so I, I'm really sorry about that. I hope you are not bored. Super quickly, while I'm thinking of it, these are the flowers that my mama got me. And this at the back is part of a Christmas tree and it smells amazing like it smells incredible and it's really cute with the little gold like pine cone there so yeah really pretty 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 so, mum has made banana muffins and this is literally the only way I'll eat bananas I hate bananas if you didn't know that about me bananas are like my least favorite food but not because of the taste because of the texture or oh, it's just like mush <sighs> No, and I don't like the smell of bananas either. Also, I've just had my dinner and I'm so full that I've had to undo my skirt. Is that TMI? Just thought I'd let you know that. <laughs> Tonight is the night that I need to actually start wrapping my Christmas presents. And Saving Mr Banks is on BBC Two today at 8.30. So I'm going to watch that while I wrap my Christmas presents up. That is what I'm going to do tonight. Watch that, wrap my presents and probably have another banana muffin, although I've already had one, so it will be my third. Is that really bad? Technically not, because there's fruit in it, so doesn't that make it good for me? I think it makes it good for me. I'm doing a poll on Twitter, by the way, to ask when you guys want the vlog, because Christmas Day is obviously Sunday, and no one's going to want to watch a vlog at lunchtime. Oh, my back. I really hurt my back. At lunchtime on Christmas Day are they so i've asked on twitter so far uploading on monday is the winner i said do i upload normal time do i upload monday or do i upload on sunday but later and so far monday is winning so it may go up monday at 12 p.m instead which is fine obviously if anything it's probably a bit better because then i get a little bit longer to edit and i won't have to sit and edit on christmas eve although i'm pretty much up to date on the vlog because i edited up to yesterday yesterday 
that makes any sense. So I've only got today and tomorrow, so Friday and Saturday, to edit into the vlog, so we should be good. Now I need to get organised. I need to get in my pyjamas because I want to be comfortable. I need to find all my presents that I've got so that I can wrap them. And then I need to wrap them. <laughs> and I also need to charge this because I'm flashing. By the way, did I ever show you my nails? Let's see if I can get it to focus on my nails. There you go. Kind of see it. I got a light grey. I got that for Secret Santa. And then I put on my thumb and my ring finger... I put a rose gold glitter and I really like it. I feel like maybe I could have put the rose gold glitter on all of them. I didn't want to go too much, so I just did it on those, but I really like them. I think they're cute. Next year I'm buying gift boxes for everyone and everyone gets their present in a gift box. It's Christmas Eve! Yay! I still need to put my red lip on. Today we're having a Christmas clothing day at work to help raise a bit more money for Make Wish. And I've never felt more or less like myself. Like I feel so uncomfortable going to work like this. Like I've got leggings on. I don't wear leggings like ever. So because I have to wear leggings, because I would wear my jeans. But they're like really faded and grey and just, no, they're like my lays about the house, paint in the house kind of jeans. I can't see anything in here. So I've had to wear leggings and then, which means I feel like I need to wear this jumper because it's the only one that covers my bum and I don't really want my bum out in leggings because I just feel funny like that. And I've got my ankle boots on and then my leggings are too short so you can see my little ankle. I just feel so uncomfortable. Like I don't feel like myself at all which is weird because surely i should feel more comfortable in an oversized christmas jumper and leggings but i just feel very not me right now i, th I think it's the leggings because obviously i wear jumpers like this all the time but i just i just don't i just don't wear leggings people i'm not a leggings person and these leggings i've had them for like years and haven't worn them I haven't worn leggings for a good two years now, I would probably say. So I just feel really bizarre. <laughs> it's gonna be an interesting day. Have an amazing Christmas Eve. Let me know in the comments, by the way, if you have any Christmas Eve like traditions or Christmas traditions. I'd really love to hear all of those. Uh, right now, I'm gonna go brush my teeth and put some lipstick on. Good evening, just finished editing the vlog and realized I have not even ended the vlog yet. <laughs> so I'm gonna do that right now today was okay at work it was fine we weren't that busy all i, I served a lot of men basically looking for like last minute Christ christmas gifts that they hadn't been able to find so it wasn't a very stressful day it was fine uh christmas eve tends to be quite a nice day to be honest because everyone is usually in a really good mood so that is always good i got my christmas present today from my manager at work and bless her heart she knows me so well literally she got me this candle i really want to show you it all this candle which says uh bless this place with family and friends which is really really cute and it smells like vanilla but i think it's like a sweet french vanilla definitely so it's so good and that is one of my favorite scents i don't know if you knew that hannah but it is one of my favorite scents she also got me this which is called from a brand i think this is the brand kind natured um, and it is a bath soak that's coconut and passion flower scented. Um, and I'm, I don't really like coconut scents. But this, you can't smell the coconut in it at all. I can't open it. Um, or you can smell it's a passion flower and it smells incredible. And as soon as I finish editing this vlog and it's uploading, I'm going to have a bath and I will be using this. And I will be having loads of bubbles in my bath. Because I haven't had a proper like bubble bath in such a long time. I've used like lush stuff but I've not had an actual like bubble bath in a really long time. And then the icing on the cake for this Christmas present gift from the amazing woman that she is, are these socks, seriously, they're slipper socks and they're super thick, look at that. Like I could hide, that's how thick they are, judging it by the width of my face. <laughs> um, but they've got, I think they're little foxes and then um, on the underneath or back, it's got a tail and it's got like a little bobbly bit for the end of the tail. Like, seriously. 
I'm so in love with these. I'm literally going to wear those to death. I already know. And I'm going to put them on as soon as I've had my bath. And I'm going to wear them all day tomorrow. And yes. Thank you, Hannah, if you're watching. Literally adore those two pieces. So now you know I plan for the evening, finish editing the vlog and I'm going to go have a bath and I'm going to have a hot chocolate and I'm going to put a Christmas film on and yeah, I'm not going to go to bed too late because obviously I need to be asleep for Santa to come. <laughs> but as I won't be speaking to you again until next week, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas day with your friends and family. If you don't celebrate Christmas, I hope you had a wonderful day anyway, of course. And yeah, the next time I see you, it will be, it will be next year. So I will say it, see you next year. <laughs> we need to end this properly, don't we? I need to ask you a question. In this vlog, I want you to tell me what your favorite present was that you got for Christmas this year. Let me know in the comments below. You coming up? Yep, yeah, that made me jump. I have no idea. Did you see me jump? Did I jump in the vlog? That made me jump so bad. Um, but yeah, let me know what your favourite Christmas present is that you've got this year. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Please, please, please. And also, don't forget to subscribe. It's so easy. It's, it's free. And you just need to click the little button down there just to subscribe so you don't miss another video. Next year, I am planning on being, like, on it with my channel. I'm just going to go for it and see what happens basically and I'm really 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 enjoying doing these vlogs I've absolutely loved doing the vlogs and um, I probably enjoy doing vlogs more than I do main channel videos I just wish I had a better life style as such to be able to do like more of them but that would be very boring for you if I did daily vlogs it would literally be me in the car being like I'm going to work I've been to work I'm coming home from work like like my day on these weekly vlogs is like three to five minutes long and that would just wouldn't be an interesting vlog, would it? No. But anyway, now we will actually go. So, yeah, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you next week. Goodbye!